again to the Off Grid Quick Reviews. Today we're going to be looking at the Outdoor Metal Matches. They're sort of like a cross between a match and a lighter. Take the actual match out, which is this bit, and then you strike it on the side and it, it ignites if you do it right. And even when you do do it right, it doesn't always. And what it is along here, well, no, let's let's have a look at this bit first. This here is just a scraper, piece of metal that scrapes across the side of the thing, which is a ferro core. And then this has a little wick inside here. Let's get that right up. It's a little wick that is completely covered in uh, lighter fluid. And so when you strike it, it should light, but you do need to put it back in here. Now, they seem alright. They're fairly windproof. Um, just to like shake them around like that, you're not going to be putting them out. You do have to blow on them. Um, I've actually seen a guy literally burn his house down, well burn his room down while trying to deal with one of these so I'm going to fill one up and um, we'll go from there as well one thing I would like to talk about before I forget is the way they're connected to these is it's the tiniest little feeble piece of metal here there is no way that if you connected that to anything it would just, look there we go it's completely come off and I put no effort into that at all so if you are going to buy these are these ones are about two pounds for three I think it was if you're gonna buy these ones you need to um, connect them a lot better than that if you put that on the side of your pack or on a key ring or something you'd lose that within a couple of hours so let's fill one up this one's completely empty I haven't actually tried these ones at all yet so this will be a fill up and demonstrate this one's slightly different Right, it's inside here there's a little reservoir so you fill it up now for some reason this container will not spray so I have to just do it drip at a time I am spilling it so I will have to clean it off in a second now this goes without saying, this stuff's flammable, be careful with it. If you get it all over yourself, don't try and ignite it, because you will end up setting light to yourself. And the guy who set light to his room kept cleaning off this, like this, and then he just put this down with the rest of it, and this is what ended up igniting. So when you try it, you get rid of all the flammable equipment, or flammable everything. Now I'm just going to plonk it in there for a sec, I'll give it a shake, you don't need to but I am just to hopefully, because I don't know how much I've put in, hopefully get the wick a bit wet yeah there we go, now you can see that the wick's damp now Hang on. this piece of ferro rod hasn't been used yet so I'll have to scrape the top layer off, oh there we go and that one lit, that actually lit a little bit easier than the other one so uh, as long as there's um, lighter fluid there it shouldn't um, burn your bit of wick too much but these are supposed to be watertight and airtight and so on so as long as you've blown it out just be careful of that but let's light it again I'll show you it just won't go out by doing that. Ow! But you can quite easily burn your hands. So, they're very, very cheap. And because of that, you know, the way they're connected is very, very cheap. This one here has the tiniest bit of plastic on it that I can guarantee that could be snapped off really easily. So, all in all, this would be quite a good addition to someone's pack, whether it's a bug out bag or a camping bag or whatever. Um, it's, I, I think this should be more aimed at either your 
you always have three, so like um, lighter matches, storm matches, and a ferro rod or whatever. I, this could be either part of that or for people who aren't as good with a, just a ferro rod on its own. Um, I, by no means I'm saying this is only for amateurs who can't do anything or whatever. This is uh, this is quite good. The thing is, if it's run out of fuel, you've still got the ferro rod on the side, which could potentially help you and save your life in some situations. So, you know, I'm... I'm quite surprised how well they work and how easy they are to fill and so on and how long they last um, for the price they are. So, yeah, I, I rate these. They're all right. Um, I think there'll be something I'll let my I'll give my wife one to help her with, you know, getting used to using the ferro rod, I think. Okay, I hope you found this useful. See you again soon. Bye.